Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, watch the breath all the way out. If the mind is wandering away, you bring it back. You have to learn how to depend on yourself like this. This is training in how to make yourself something you can depend on. As the Buddha says, the self is its own mainstay. You can't really depend on anybody else to straighten out your mind. The people who say you can't depend on yourselves are the ones trying to take power away from you. You've got this power, you've got this ability, it's just you have to develop it so you can be reliable. And you can see, you can succeed in what you want to do. The Buddha basically said that there are four qualities that you bring to any task if you want to succeed in it. Now there's lots of different ways that the world measures success. And the Buddha here is talking about success in ways that matter. It means you really do develop good qualities in yourself. You really do good for the world and you do good for yourself at the same time that you're succeeding. I mean, there are other ways of succeeding in the world that don't do any good, but that's not really worth even thinking about. It's a huge waste of time. The ways, of, the types of success that really do matter really rely on four qualities. First one is desire. You really have to like doing whatever it is that you have to do. Whatever the task requires, you learn how to get yourself motivated. So you see it really is worthwhile and you see it really is something that you want to do. That first has to be the desire and also the desire for the goal. Like when we're meditating, we want the mind to settle down and be still. We want the mind to gain insight so it can release itself from its defilements. You want to think about that for a while, that it really would be a good thing to do, and it's something you can do. All of us say, well, maybe that's something noble ones can do, but we're not noble ones. Well, where do noble ones come from? They come from people like us. They just really took the problem of happiness and the problem of suffering seriously. What can we do to find true happiness? What can we do to avoid suffering? And once you see that that's something you really want to pursue, okay, that gives rise to the motivation to get down and really do the work. That's the second quality, is persistence. You really stick with it. When it's easy, you do it. When it's hard, you do it. Of course, when it's hard, it takes a little bit more effort, takes a little bit more time as you sort things out to try to figure out, well, what's going wrong here? Why is it so hard? But you have to remember, other people have been able to do this. You can do it too. You have the potentials within you to develop these qualities. The third quality is citta, which means that you pay careful attention to what you're doing. Just working, working, working away without really paying attention is not going to gain you any real success. I'm going to you some success, but for it to be really, really good, you have to pay careful attention to what you're doing to see what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, what might be improved. That's the task of the fourth quality, which the Buddha calls vimangsa. It's translated into English lots of different ways, discrimination, circumspection. In other words, the active side of your mind that tries to figure things out and solve problems. Okay, once you have these four qualities, the desire to do it, and you really stick with it, you pay close attention to what you're doing, and you actively try to solve whatever problems come up, then whatever you set your mind to is going to succeed. It's the kind of success that really does benefit you, benefits the people around you. So whatever task you approach, whether it's here practicing meditation or it's out in the world trying to get a degree, trying to succeed in your work, think of these four qualities as the ones that are going to get you ahead. Now, the other people may get a higher rank in life, but that's not what real success is, because rank is something that comes and goes. And if there are no good actions that go along with it, because then it's really worthless. In fact, it's often harmful to a lot of people. They gain rank and then they do stupid things with it. But the kind of success that helps you now and helps you on into the future, it's based on these four qualities. The desire, the persistence, the intent, and the active approach to trying to solve problems. That's what's going to see you through, whatever the task you take, whatever task you pursue. And it's by developing these qualities that you really find that you can depend on yourself. You can make the difference in your life. 